Guess who's back? Back again. Foot order, foot order, foot odor absorbs moisture, talc free. I have a video on talc, it's not the devil. Um, shout out to J&J. &J. <laughs> um, what does this have in it? Uh, Cornstarch and fragrance. You know, um, putting a little foot powder in your shoes can kind of help. Yeah, using a foot powder is good uh, on your feet. It helps uh, absorb some of that sweat and that sweat breaks down, leads to foot odor, and also is a very hospitable environment for, for uh, tinea, aka fungus. And if you have uh, dyshydrotic eczema, it can occur on your feet, and sweat is a precipitant of a flare of that. So yeah, using a foot powder can definitely help with that, but the other thing you wanna do is change your socks frequently, make sure they, they stay dry. In terms of medicated powders, though, uh, I don't know if they have a dupe here at, uh, at DT, but uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to call Dollar Tree DT. Um, in terms of medicated powders, I recommend um, Zeasorb AF. <laughs> yeah, Zeasorb, Z-E-A-S-O-R-B AF has a little bit of uh, antifungal in it, so that too can help with the... With the uh, with the fun fungus issue. Oh my God, you guys. This needs to stop. This is responsible for so many problems in the, uh, in the downstairs area for women. These feminine sprays, feminine deodorants. They mess up the pH down there and lead to an overgrowth of candida and all sorts of problems. Yeah, stop deodorizing down there. If you leave it alone, it will uh, self-clean itself and odor is not an issue. Looks like DT is uh, looking out for the kitties here with their Max Block SPF 50 sunscreen lotion. Um, this obviously has fragrance in it, but otherwise it's not too bad. Um, it's water resistant. It's gonna sting and burn around the eyes, but uh, this is a good one for uh, not only protecting you against UVB, but UVA as well. The avabenzone will protect against that. Unfortunately, uh, avabenzone is not super stable. You obviously have to reapply any sunscreen, but uh, when you're relying on avabenzone to protect you from those UVA rays, you have to be even more diligent. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you are on a tight budget, you know, I obviously encourage you guys to avoid fragrance, but I realize that with everything going on, People are strapped for cash. This is not, this is not the worst thing in the world. Um, it's definitely better than no sunscreen. This is a kind of sunscreen that's not going to leave a cast either. So you have that. You could alternatively go for the SPF 30 Sport Lotion. This probably will not sting as much around the eyes, but we do know that higher SPF is better just because people don't apply enough sunscreen, so you're better off starting with a higher SPF. Now this non-sport one is probably going to be a little bit uh, more of an everyday moisturizer. This is the kind of thing you can wear inside. You do need to wear sunscreen every day even when you're indoors mostly because sun comes through the window as well as visible light and that can contribute to persistent hyperpigmentation um, and dark spots. Uh, as well as photo aging. So don't neglect the SPF just because you're chilling like a villain indoors all day. Now look, the uh, Staphylococcal Harbingers of Doom. I don't recommend these Lucas. They um, trap all of your little dead skin cells and bacteria and they are just like a reservoir for for uh, microbes. It's just not good cleansing. Plus these are not like the most economical thing. You can't reuse them. I recommend instead a washcloth. And looky here, we have we have a nice, of course they're playing into your, they're enticing you with exfoliating and scrubbing, but this is a good option. You know, if you have keratosis pylorus on the upper arms, you can uh, rub this in a gentle circular fashion on that. And it'll help soften that bumpy stuff and let it fluff off. The problem with keratosis pilaris is that the skin cells, they don't turn over quite so efficiently inside the uh, hair follicle and you get that dry bumpy stuff that builds up. Uh, so this can help, uh, but you don't need to like 
scrub it to death. You know, the skincare market, they are always, they love to tell you, you need to exfoliate. You need to exfoliate. It's like, calm down, calm down. Unless you are, you are an older adult with significant photo damage, like chill the, chill the fudge sickle down with the exfoliating. Oh, the marketing. Oh, speaking of things that can lead to harm, this bad boy feels so good. It plays into, into, into that. Yeah, these can cause problems. It can cause a condition on the on the back called macular amyloidosis. It's basically a thickening of the skin and persistent itch. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of it somewhere here. I'll float it on the screen. But basically, uh, anytime you chronically rub the skin, it can get thick and uh, discolored. And the upper back is a key area. It's called macular amyloid. And these bad boys are, are a culprit in that, that issue. And it's really nearly impossible to treat just topical steroids high potency which are by prescription oh isn't that cute a cow see see get them while they're young with the exfoliating and a cow and oh a little pig too okay i kind of want these i need to chill out personally i rather enjoy vo5 i find that it's a good cost-effective shampoo unfortunately it does have methyl isothiazolinone in it which is a preservative that commonly can cause allergies and obviously fragrance but um, honestly it's competitive in my opinion with like super expensive stuff Ooh, white rain i have not seen this in years i used to use their shampoo when i was a child um, but this extra hold spray it's just it's got obviously fragrance and then hydrolyzed rice protein that's going to build up on the hair and make it more manageable yeah, it's just going to give it a little bit of uh, texture and and whatnot, but it can lead to to uh, to breakage um, because basically it just leads to a buildup. So if you use stuff like this, make sure you use a clarifying shampoo on a once a week basis. Oh, I used to use this Suave Green Apple when I was in med school too because it was cheap. This is probably one of the best things I have here. This uh, personal care 100% petroleum jelly. This is amazing. You put it, put it on your lips, your heels. This is also really good if you get chafing between the inner thighs. Uh, it'll help kind of lubricate the skin and prevent prevent chafing. Um, also be under the armpits. Yeah, I have a video all on using Vaseline to your face. I'll link it down below for you guys. But that is, you don't have to use the brand name Vaseline, just 100% petroleum jelly. It's also good if you get a cut. Um, it uh, helps protect it. All right, here we have a anti-dandruff shampoo. It's got zinc pyrithion. This is like a dupe for head and shoulders. It, um, its issues are it has methyl isothiazolinone in it, that preservative for which you can become allergic to. And it also has fragrance. But I mean, fragrance and, and, and whatnot, less, less risky in, in wash off products. This product is otherwise good because zinc pyrithion uh, is good not only for dandruff, but it's also good if you have seborrheic dermatitis on the face. You can you can use something like this as a face wash or a body wash. Um, lather it to the affected area, leave it on the skin for a few minutes, and then rinse it off. And uh, that will help reduce uh, the burden of malassezia yeast that contribute to a dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis. Also. Zinc pyrithion also is compelling for hair loss too because it's anti-inflammatory and it's also thought that by decreasing the burden of malassezia uh, on the scalp it kind of further reduces inflammation and it can kind of help uh, with hair loss. So yeah, yeah, I don't recommend aftershave. I think it's a gimmick and a waste of money. Just use a basic moisturizer, ideally one that's fragrance free. Um, a lot of aftershaves have like menthol and stuff so they tingle and whatnot and that can just be irritating plus the fragrance. When you shave, uh, you do create, uh, disrupt the skin barrier and create some irritation. So that's a great time to put moisturizer on is right after you shave for shaving the face I'm talking about. Um, and, and that'll reduce ingrown hairs as well just using a basic moisturizer. But you don't need, you don't need power stick to do that. Um, I mean, you could use power stick if you like the way that it smells, but do be aware that you're putting yourself at uh, potential risk for contact dermatitis. Actually, power stick does not have, oh, it's got peppermint oil. Yeah, that's going to tingle. 
It's gonna tingle like like it's ready to mingle. Um, okay, we're not gonna comment on Bansect. I don't know much about veterinary care. Ooh, a bubble mask. What does this do? Yuzu lemon. Sugar maple. This is nothing but perfume. Uh, I'm sure that's fun to do, like at a birthday party, but I would stop there. <laughs> Ooh, look at this gem. Complexion Perfection Jelly Face Mask. There's, oh, niacinamide. But again, you can find that in a lot of basic moisturizers. Yeah, I don't recommend this. Also, castor oil. I mean, it's hard to escape castor oil. It's in a lot of skincare products, but it's another one that you can develop an allergy to. Um, all right. So, that's the jelly, the jelly roll. Global Beauty Care Clay Mask. All right, clay is actually pretty good if you have uh, blackheads on your nose. Um, it can just kind of help uh, absorb some extra extra oil and, and whatnot from within the pore. It kind of wicks it up. Uh, look for like the ingredient kaolin. Um, here they just have it labeled as clay. Look you guys, it's cruelty free, not tested on animals. This is actually pretty good, uh, especially, if you, namely if you have oily skin. It also has licorice root, which is helpful. This ingredient, dipotassium glycerizate, that's licorice root, is helpful if you have, it, it calms down redness and irritation, and it can kind of brighten up hyperpigmentation as well. This is actually, this is actually promising. Ooh, we found something really good here. Guys, there's some like hidden gems scattered in this like miscellany here. We've got this Pond's Clear Solution. I have not ever seen this. I'm kind of curious. What is this? Because you guys know I like the fragrance free Pond's Cold Cream. This is also promising. This Pond's Clear Solutions. Can you see it? There. Yeah, the Pond's Clear Solutions Facial Foam. This is a salicylic acid face wash. It has fragrance in it, so that's not ideal, but it's a face wash, so it's not going to stay on the skin. So it's less risky. The salicylic acid will get into your pore though and stay there and help to control acne. This also has niacinamide, which is helpful for calming down redness. Hey, this is another win here, you guys. Aside from the fragrance, we have found another gem. Ooh, Jergens Ultra Healing too, my God. Dollar Tree. Yeah, I like Jergens in general. They're, they're decent. They have some products that are free of fragrance. So dig around in your Dollar Tree and see if you, you can't come up with a fragrance free version. Uh, but this is good with all the hand washing we're doing now more than ever. Uh, and reapply after you wash your hands. It just will help reduce dry, dryness and irritation with all the hand washing. Coconut bath bomb. Again, this is, this is for the birthday party. Otherwise, no, let's not say we did. So Global Beauty Care also has a retinol skin cream. Now, retinol is one of the most evidence-based ingredients for anti-aging as well as as well as uh, acne control. Retinol is not as active as prescription tretinoin, or uh, you can you can also get a dapolene, aka Differin, um, over the counter, which is more active than this is going to be. It's not a good idea though to have. To have retinol with fragrance in it. So let's skip that. Oh wow, this looks like fun. A unicorn that implodes. Spa Naturals Moisturizing Avocado Oil Soak. But yeah, I don't have much to tell you guys that's rooted in science about soaking in Epsom salt. I know it's popular, um, but you can certainly get Epsom salt without fragrance. Um, that's inexpensive. You don't need this Spa Naturals version. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everyone join in. It is, it is an alien suck nut. What's this little salon selectives treat we have here? This is another hair care product I used to use when I was a child. Well, this brand, salon selectives. I thought I was like being bougie when I was a teenager and I used salon selectives. Um, anyways, this is the damage repair. I'm guessing this is intended to remedy split ends. Uh, you are to apply it after shampooing to wet hair, wait three minutes, rinse out. This actually looks pretty good too. I mean, it obviously has fragrance, which most hair care products do, let's be honest. Um, yeah, this is another win because this can just help condition the ends. Uh, it's basically a nice uh, hair mask. And argon oil is really good for your hair, actually. So, and the hydrolyzed keratin, now that's gonna help fill in some of the gaps on the hair shaft 
and help reduce frizz and hair breakage. All right, you don't need this. Coconut oil is good for the hair. Uh, it reduces high girl fatigue, but coconut oil can definitely cause acne uh, on the skin, uh, like on your face and stuff. So um, don't buy this product because it's like coconut oil and a ton of fragrance for this tiny little tube they want you to slather from head to toe. Based on how they want you to use this as an aside, one and a half ounces is enough to cover all body surfaces uh, one and a half times. So this is not a very good value. Just use coconut oil for your hair um, and you can put it on before you get in the shower. It will help reduce high girl fatigue. Uh, you don't need this. <laughs> as far as using coconut oil on the body, again, it can trigger acne, but it has been shown that for people with eczema, uh, using coconut oil on the eczema is a good uh, moisturizer and has some antibacterial properties that are helpful. But again, you don't need this expensive perfumey version. Just use coconut oil. It's pretty cheap. Looks like looks like this was popular though. And this box, this is all that's left, you guys. All that's left. Oh my god, they've embedded the loofah into the soap. How useless is that? Aren't these cute? These little eggs, spa life, egg white, bedtime sleeping mask. Yeah, I don't recommend that. It's just a bunch of perfume and in an egg. It is cute. Okay, this this is something, again, for that slumber party that we're having one day. Yeah, we're just gonna give ourselves contact during a tie. Oh, let's bring this to the slumber party too. Every parent's worst nightmare, hair glitter. Let's talk about a fast way to clog our, our drain and ruin, ruin our bathtub. <laughs> hair glitter. Oh, I love Hosk. This is a good one too, this Hosk hair mask. Speaking of high girl fatigue, I've actually used this. It does have fragrance, but it's not intended to be left on, so it's less of an issue. And I've always enjoyed the Hosk products. Oh, what are these masks here? Now, green tea and products can help scavenge free radicals. So here you have this, let me hear you one, two step, right in. Anyways, yeah, you have this two step pack here. You have a cleanser and then a charcoal face mask again charcoal can help in uh, pulling out some of the excess oiliness from the skin and within the pore oh the cleanser also has royal jelly in it that has a lot of humectants in it now the mask has sodium laurel sulfate in it not the devil as does the cleanser not the devil but it is a harsher surfactant uh, so i imagine these are going to be actually kind of drying and irritating so i don't know if you want to if you want to go down that hole so again there's no need to be polishing your body with coconut oil and sea salt this is something that you could make yourself really a really inexpensive version of this just get coconut oil and some salt and mix them together and it can if you have like dry patches on your elbows or on your feet that's really good just as a lather but you don't need this product which obviously has fragrance in it otherwise just yeah you can just mix any oil and salt or sugar and and do that uh, very inexpensive move over glow recipe dt is in the house with the same inane bag of tricks watermelon toners um now aloe can be irritating but it can actually have a skin brightening effect and be soothing but this product i would definitely skip nothing but perfume i don't recommend chasing after this golden rainbow of using golden skincare products uh theoretically you run the risk of a condition called chrysiasis if this gets deposited which it probably won't i mean it's probably at a very very low to non-existent level and something like this but again it's not gonna that's not gonna be helpful. This is, again, something that you might wanna party with at the slumber party, but yeah. Not gonna change your life. Not gonna change your life. Moisturizing body oil. Boy, DT is really, really coming in clutch, as they say, or said. Hashtag behind the times. Uh, with these coconut oil salt mambo combos. Yeah, again, just get coconut oil start time with that oh it goes with it goes with the body polish okay 
You guys, I found another gem, the Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. Um, this doesn't appear to have any fragrance in it. It does have methyl isothiazolinone in it. So that you certainly can become allergic to. It's actually pretty common to develop an allergy to that. But anyways, this also has peptides in it, which can help hydrate the skin. And it has niacinamide that can help with hyperpigmentation. If you have dark circles though that are genetic, this is not gonna, if you have dark circles that are genet hereditary, this is not gonna do anything. But if you just have some dark circles that have accumulated from like consuming too much salt and you kind of have some puffy under eyes, especially when you wake up in the morning, this can potentially help. Um, what else did it have, to have in it? Uh, does it have niacinamide? Yeah, niacinamide, licorice root, and uh, oh, it also has uh, Saccharomyces ferment filtrate, which is uh, rich in moisturizing humectants. So yeah, this actually looks promising. Uh, not the worst thing in here. For all seasons. <laughs> well guys, thank you all for coming along. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.